what do we have here? Okay, we got a couple cassettes there. All right. Yep, we're gonna be jamming, guys. What's going on guys? This is your boy Mr. 75 Caprice here with another video. And guys, we are back on the road on our way to Madison, Wisconsin. We are gonna be checking out a car trailer, which we don't really need, but hey, you never know when you're gonna need a car trailer. This is a single car trailer that my buddy has. So we're gonna go check it out since we found a car right here, not too far from Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, it's gonna be a 1983 Oldsmobile Cutlass T-top uh, Kabais or something like that. You, you put those are called. So yeah, guys, we are on the way there. Uh, I am by myself today, and uh, hopefully we can make something happen. You know, we either come back with a trailer, or we actually need the trailer to come back with the car. So we first gonna go check out the trailer and. We might have no choice but to get the trailer so yeah guys we're gonna go check it out first the trailer and then hopefully get it and then go head out to see the car so we can put the car on the trailer so we can bring it back because i can't drive two cars at the same time and we are not in the tow truck today so hopefully it's not a, a blank mission today and we come back empty handed so get back with you in a minute Alright guys, we are pulling up to our destination where the vehicle is going to be at, the colors. So, I don't know if it's left or right, might be up there, do I see it up there? Hmm. Huh. Well, there's nothing over here, there's still a house over here. I don't know. Might be lost guys. Might be lost. It says I'm here, but I don't know where it's here, you know? Look at this. Can't even tell where I'm at. Cornfield. Let me call this guy real quick, guys. I don't have that kind of money. Like, <laughs> it looks nice and peaceful over here, though. Yeah, that it is. It's out here. I kind of like it. <clears throat> A lot of animals over here? Not really. Ah, raccoons. They just have some fox around for a while. Right. But I think the coyotes cook, kick them out, so. Nothing special. I have raccoons too. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be waking me up every night in the camera. So okay. It's, this is it? Yeah, 83. It's got new gas tank, new sending unit, new shocks all the way around. All new brakes all the way around. I kept the same drums, had them turned. It's got new dust covers for backer plates on the back of these, so you know. Yeah, yeah. That's new. New axle seals. Uh, new springs in the front. New tires, of course. New alternator, water pump fuel pump, radiator, I think tie rod bushings or stabilizer bushings, they're new on it. And when you say new, like how old is new? Or like, how old was it that, that was, that's was that been replaced? Or you just oh, did it? Oh, probably within the last two and a half, three years. Okay. That, that's all I had it for. It sat for two years in my uh, storage shed, so I probably did it two and a half years ago. I did all that. So how long you owned it for? What? How long you owned it for? Probably about three years. Oh, three years? Yeah. Okay. So the guy had it. Probably, I seen the car 25 years ago. And he just had 4,000 worth of body work done to it. But it was sitting in his shop and he wasn't doing anything with it. Yeah. 
So uh, I asked him if he wanted to sell it, and he's the kind of person that doesn't sell anything. So and then about three years ago, he called me. He said, you want to buy that car after he pushed it outside and uh, under a lean, so I rescued it. But, I mean, the door hinges and everything, I mean, it's rockers are all, like, new. Yeah, it's all original. Floor it's shifter. Not a, not a speed car, but it's a good cruising car. It rides smooth. Right, it's not a 442, but... <laughs> not a Cadillac like you got, but... Cadillac, oh man, that truck is a junk. <laughs> That's my first time driving it here. Four, and I can smell the brakes. Yeah. And this is... Yeah, you show me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have gold carpet out, so okay. that's, that's the only bad spot on the whole car. All right. I got a jack if you want me to jack it up and you can look underneath it better. I oh, don't... no, it's fine. But it's it's a pretty solid car. You put a dent on the bumper or it was already there? I think that's the guy when he pushed it outside with the skid steer, he did that. Oh, uh, yeah. He... Then he was going to push it on the trailer. I was like, no, 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 <laughs> no. I got to winch her. I'll winch it up. He was giving up already, huh? Yeah. He was like, yeah, whatever, man. It's, <clears throat> it's, it's done. It looks nice. Like, it almost looks like a 442. Yeah, but it's not. <laughs> no, I know, I know. I'm just saying, like, it's it, just... It, I probably wouldn't get rid of it. If it right? Was, you know? Yeah, they, they, they got one out here. It's, uh, well, not out here. I say out here because Wisconsin, but... It was a black one um, that the, some guy was being trying to get rid of it, but uh, I don't know. They just they just scared me when I see a car for so long on the internet. Yeah. I feel like they're just overpriced because yeah. that's the reason why they're there, you know. Yeah. Well, I put this. I this said one asking ten, so I that's just the place I started at. So. Yeah, and then this one looks like uh, it's been it's been uh, stored for a while. You can tell like by the jams and stuff and all that. Uh, yeah, it's, it's got got so much dirt or like dust should I say? Yeah. It's been it's probably has been sitting for probably 25 years. Are those original miles? Original miles, yep. So it's got 91,000? 91,000. 91,000. The T-tops are locked right now or they're Oh, uh, they just got a lever. There's no I like key lock or not. No, oh, some of them do. That's what I was yeah, asking. This, this one just has the lever that you That's, that's honestly the cool part about this car, the T-top. Yeah, know. You know? <laughs> yeah. Does it start up right now? What's that? Does it start up? Well, you bet. It's got a manifold leak. What's that? Does it got a manifold leak? I think the can like converter. Can like converter? Yeah. You can cut that out, just put a test piece in there. If somebody bad enough, put a test piece in there. Got to get the elk under baskets. Because they were making really bad arrows. First ones that are just, you know, they were making. But overall, it's fucking solid, you know? Yeah. Not that way without something, but... It drives good, shifts good. Yeah, you can take it for a spin if you want. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Yeah, Unless... We'll run it down the road here. We can drive it. Unless you want to take it down the road. We we'll can drive the goddamn thing. You're the one who's wanting to buy it. Alright, yeah, I just want to make sure it shifts and that's all. Let me go on this test drive, guys. Oh, yeah, guys. We ended up picking out the trailer ready. I was kind of in a rush, I didn't show you guys when I got it locked and loaded. But it looks like a nice 20 footer trailer. Might be a 22. It's pretty long. I'm about to see if the lights work and stuff. Alright guys, the 1983 Oldsmobile Cutlass is going back with us. We got it locked and loaded. Wanted to check if the signals work. I didn't even have a chance to try them out. But it looks like they're working. Check this one. Oh, this one doesn't work. That's not good. Well, 
We know we gotta fix that light. Let's, let's just hurry up before it gets dark and you know, we run into some problems. But yeah guys, get in the comment section, let me know what y'all think of our latest pickup, the 1983 Oldsmobile Cutlass. I think this is a Kalize or something like that. I don't know if it says right here. Yeah, you see that? Kalize. I think that's the ones that came with the floor shifter with the T-top. Yeah, super clean car, guys. Like this one, I I've been looking at this car for a while now. It's just the drive it was killing me. But hey, you know, we're not gonna find those none of these old nice classic cars around the corner you gotta travel for these bad boys and i needed that i need that little drive anyways guys you know wanted it uh to take that alone drive easy out my mind and stuff and get back to what i like doing which is these cars you know buying these old classic cars and i get super happy when they're actually clean like this all original guys it's just i don't know the back's sitting kind of high, huh? It's ready for some 30s. Nah, but yeah, guys, check it out. All right, guys, well, we got a long, probably three hour drive. Not that bad, but it's bad on a Sunday. Gotta get back to the family and stuff, so. For those that haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel so y'all can stay updated on all these classic cars I'd be buying and stuff. Also, don't forget to hit that like button, hit the notification bell. Don't forget to leave a comment, guys. Thanks for watching, guys.